Hey guys, and welcome to day 22 of Vlogmas. Today I'll be showing you how to create these fun and very comfortable slippers. Um, it's part of our minimalist uh, thing we do here at the, uh, our household um, where we try to make and create uh, gifts for each other. These are for Nikki. Um, and so let's get started. this video will be to make some slippers for my wife. Uh, something I do every Christmas is to make, uh, use my crocheting to do something for every part of the family. Part of being minimal, minimalist means I don't go out and buy for my family when I can actually make for my family. Um, it's a skill that I've been building up over the last couple of years and I'm really happy to bring some comfort and some really quality work uh, for my family. So we're going to start today with the slipper pattern. And with that I have my 8mm hook. Uh, some um, organic worsted weight white yarn and the same in purple and let's get started. Alright guys we're going to start with our, our purple yarn and as always you start with a simple slip stitch slip knot actually not slip stitch and I'm going to take it tighten it around the, uh, the hook and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my base chain. My base chain is going to be comprised of 20 slip stitches. Just grab it and pull through the hole. And you have to keep track of your counting. It's easier to count when you're not talking. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, and this will be 20. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two more on here, but um, this needs to be, it's going to stretch a little bit. This is going to be the width of the foot, right, from heel to toe. And what the pattern should look like is, what we'll do is, we'll start to do the two here, and we'll work our way back this way, and then actually instead of going back and forth, to make it longer like you would do for a towel or for a face cloth, what we'll do is we'll go actually put two here and come around this way. What that will do is actually start doing in a circular pattern from the base stitch, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the first part and then if you don't mind, I'll do time lapse uh, for the repeating parts. So what I'll do now is, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna make them just a little bit longer just to make sure my wife's feet have enough room. So it's 22, 20, it's actually 21, 22. Let's put a little bit more into it. 22, 23, say 24. That should be enough. So I, instead of doing 22 stitches, I've done, I've done 20, 24 stitches. But I'm still gonna do the same pattern where I go two more stitches, and that, what that's gonna do is it's gonna be our, that's gonna count for the first chain. And then what I'll do is I'll come back in, I'll put double crochet in this row. So I got two. And I'll just start double crocheting like I normally would on any traditional um, traditional piece of yarn work, crochet work. So grab a, the double, remember double crochet is you grab it and put it through. Grab it and then you're gonna pull through once and then pull through again. I'm just gonna walk the walk the line, put it in, grab it, pull through once, pull through again.
actually a very relaxing thing to do on the holidays when I'm off. I think to sit and uh, have a podcast or something going on in the background and just make for my my wife and my family. Again, it's very it's very minimal zero waste because so go out to the store buy something. I'm sitting here um, making something, taking time to put something nice together for them, something that I know my wife really appreciates when I make something for her. And that makes it all worthwhile. So we're getting to the end of our first side. Got a couple more to go. So I'm on my last, what would be my last chain, but I'm going to put this in here once. I'm going to do a second double crochet in the same loop. Let's see what we got here. So here's our first, first row. So the toe's going to be on this set and heels here. All right? And so we've come down this way. Now I'm going to take it back this way, so I'm going to put another two here, just like I started over here. So I put two here, do it all the way down, double, cro uh, double crochet, put two in the end, I put two in the end again, and this, these two and this two will be two in each end, and fill in the rest. So here we go. So I'm going to two more, and what that's going to do is I'm going to round this end out. What you might want to do, you got the tail from the first part, you can actually work that into your, into your stitching as you go, so it kind of hides the tail. First bit.
it sticks. You gotta be careful with it. There you go. Towards the end, maybe like two, like three more stitches and then a double. And we'll have our first, I actually have the base done, which is nice. And it's really easy after the base is done because it's really repetitive. So, almost there. So, okay, right at the end. So, I'm at my base. So, there's the actual, there's the first stitch that we did, the first extra stitch, the two stitches. What I'll do now is I'll just put two in this M. This is the first of the last two. And then I'll put one more in that last spot. So all that's left is I'm going to find, let's see where we're at right here. I just do a slip stitch to pull these two together. That is your foundation base. So this is gonna be the absolute bottom of your shoe, right here. So your toes over here and your heels here. And we'll put on time lapse for the next part, but we're just gonna chain two out and then just start going around in a circle and build it up until you have most of the base of the shoe and we'll finish it off. All right, be back in time lapse in a second.
Here we go. Uh, this is the finished product. Um, took me about 90 minutes to make. Remember, you start with the main seam here, build out, and then what you do is once it starts turning up, you'll start reducing like I did in the video, and you get this nice little um, triple crochet uh, extension out. Um, just make sure that you, you uh, keep trying it on as you go just to make sure it's not tight and the person's going to wear it's comfortable with it. Uh, but again, it's a 90 minute project and it produces some really nice results. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed that project. Again, this is the 22nd day of Vlogmas, um, something that you can do for yourself. It doesn't have to be Christmas, doesn't have to be Vlogmas to, to do this project. It's a great project, especially with uh, colder weather still creeping in on a lot of places where you might be. Um, I hope you enjoyed the project. hope it was uh, something you could easily recreate. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, remember to come back and find some more, hopefully great projects that you'll enjoy in the coming days of Vlogmas. Thanks. Guys.